as you come off the ship, you walk through the building with all the gift shops, and there you can get free Wi-Fi if you log on to Visitors Wi-Fi. And now we're going to take a walk to the local beach. <laughs> Don't worry if you're in a chair because it's got ramps. You have to walk on the left hand side of the road and keep there because you get told off otherwise. Now you have a choice. If you want to go to Mullins and the bus garage, it's left. But we're going to the beach today, so we're going right. So just to reassure you, here's a sign, we're going the right way. If you're tired, there are plenty of benches along the way and you can sit down and just breathe in the wonderful sea air. Just look behind me for a minute, there is about a mile of taxis and not everybody is going to get a fare today. They will be polite, but they will be trying to get a fare, so just remember they're only trying to earn a living. Now, remember I told you about the bus garage? Well, if you walk across here, to the left, behind the Pelican Center, that's where you'll find it. So if you look behind me over there, there is the bus garage. It's so close to the ship and it's very easy to get to Mullins and Spate Town. And if you want to know exactly how to do it, look at our, one of our older videos on Barbados and we'll tell you exactly what to do. The bus garage is exactly opposite the Bridgetown Market. And as we're here on Saturday, it's open. And if you don't spot it, you can smell it because it stinks of fish. But we're carrying on walking down to the beach. If you're looking for landmarks that we've previously shown you, the Jolly Roger isn't here anymore. Unfortunately, it sunk in Hurricane Barrow. And also the Jolly Roger pub that used to be over there, gone, no more. But they are building other pubs along the way. Let's see what else has changed. What used to be over there? Well, it's the bridge house, but it never looked like that. What else has changed? Come on and I'll show you along the way. So there's the classic bridge house, no longer there, but it does look like they might be doing something with it. But what I have noticed is there's lots more catamarans. So Barbados is changing. It'd be interesting, won't it? Come on, pop your head out. That looks to me like a turtle, but he's a bit shy. The Granville Williams bus terminal is over there if you want to go to Oystens. We used to cut through here to the beach, but we can't do it today because Pirate's Cove Beachfront Restaurant and Bar is no more. We'll try this way, we'll try and cut through here. Yes, success! The white sand we found it, something's never changed. And while all the beaches in Barbados are brilliant, remember from my previous films, my favourite are Rockley and Mullins. But now I'm going to dip in the sea. Oh, lovely, really refreshing, not too cold. It's perfect and it's clean. Love it. So now is the familiar site of the coastline we've already filmed and showed you and as you go around it repeats itself, you go through Hastings, you go through Rockley along the boardwalk 
And if you come on a Friday, you can go to Oysters, which we have filmed for you previously, where there's a fantastic fish market and there's singing and dancing and it's an all round good evening. And you can get there for $2 on a bus. This is just the beach that's close to the ship and it's wonderful. Sorry? I'm going to decorate a castle with my father. Oh, are you going to decorate it? This had to be done. It was at this ferry bar seven years ago when we got the first photos of our new granddaughter Heidi and now she's seven and still gorgeous.